Lots of people who have absolutely no understanding of radiation physics seem to think that the closer the LEDs are, the better. In other words, if you can get them sitting right on your face in an LED mask, then you're going to get a better result. Using no opinion and just pure common sense and physics facts, I'm going to break this myth right now. Imagine you have two torches shining on me quite close. You'd see two circles of illumination. Move them further away and those circles would get bigger and overlap such that the entire area is receiving radiation much more evenly. Now imagine there's loads of torches further away. The entire region is going to be having a completely even uh, bathing of radiation. When the torches or LEDs are very close, you get the hot spotting effect. This means one area might receive the energy the company states on their website, but the area in between is receiving practically nothing because there's not enough distance for the radiation to spread out like a cone from the LED and reach this bit in between from an overlap of emission cones. If you want to see through the con and scam that the mask manufacturers play with you guys, then ask them for the energy figures like irradiance in joules per square centimeter, and then ask them the amount of energy that reduces by for the skin directly between LEDs in the mask that sits on your face. I'll be amazed if any of them can answer you. The only way to get a mask that sits on your face with no distance for radiation dispersion to give you an even treatment to all your skin is to engineer a method of say trapping the light after emission and then redistributing it so that it hits the areas between LEDs too. A company that can engineer something like this will then be able to give you the energy decrease percentage for the skin in between LEDs as opposed to just the max power that the skin directly under an individual LED receives. That's a company that you can trust because they admit the problem of mask engineering right from the beginning. Currently, no one's ever done this because so many members of the public and even medical professionals don't know this, that these mask brands can make something crap and people will still buy it. So why waste time in research and development to come up with a method of, say, redistributing the light and doing right by our patients when the money's rolling in anyway? Because people don't know how this type of radiation dispersion works and they're already buying terrible devices thinking they're amazing because they don't have the knowledge.